Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Big D and Liam's Custom Garage. I'm Big D. And I'm Liam. On today's episode, we are going to be doing parts cleaning and going to also uh, start the disassembly of the bottom end of the 5.3. Uh, I did get a little bit of a head start, sorry about that. Uh, I did take the timing cover off and the harmonic dampener. And for your guys' information, the new puller worked great. That thing came off like butter. It didn't fight me at all. So it came off, timing cover came off, uh, but guys are gonna be interested when you uh, see the timing chain in this thing whoa so yeah but um yeah with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get started on the tear down of the motor and unveil our new parts cleaner and show you guys uh some of the parts cleaned up so here we go Okay guys, so before we uh, flip the motor over and pull the pan off, I need to drain the uh, water out of the block. Um, after doing research on Google, um, it says that this one here and then there's another one on the other side of the block are your block drains. But the other one on the other side of the block takes a gigantic Allen. And I don't, I have some big Allens, but I don't have any that big. So hopefully we'll get 90% of it out of this side. If we get a little bit more on the floor when we flip it, that's fine. But I want to try to at least get most of it out now. So, let's, okay, here we go. Got it? Woo! She was in there. Thank you, sorry. Okay. Now I can take it out. Now we already drained the oil out of this a little while ago. I will tell you this much, it, I think it was overfilled. It had probably close to eight or nine quarts of oil in it. All right, there goes one side. One side. So, and there wasn't a whole lot in there. No. There we go, I'll be right by here. Yep. The water flows downhill. And this is going downhill. Just tilt it, um, this, just tilt it this way. Now, before we do that, though, I um, need to pull the oil filter off. Mm -hmm. We did drain the oil, but we have not pulled the oil filter. Get that out of the way. Bring this. Bring that one over. Liam's, if you guys are wondering, William's not able to help quite as much. Yeah, just a little, I have a thumb problem. Yes. Uh, he cut himself rather well. Okay, we're going to be using a pair of channel locks because I don't know what size filter this is and it's not being reused. Oil the O ring. You hear it's heard it squeaking coming off. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not showing you guys this part, Liam. We have a slight leak. Slight leak, yes. I can't move it any closer. I know. Uh, <coughs> could you grab a handful of the oil stuff? Yeah. We got wise today and. I yeah. we went out and bought some oil dry. <laughs> so if we spill fluids, we got our 
stuff to uh, clean it up with. Ooh, that is some beautiful. Look yeah. at that beautiful bean footage. There we go. Now I'll put the pan back for it to drip into. It'll stop dripping once we get it flipped over. Alright, I'm going to pull the pin. Now that it's back here, actually, Liam, could you kind of lift on the motor just slightly? I can only do like half. Yes. Like, like three quarters of the work I want to do. Wait. We're missing our. And there we go. Slide in the hole. Put the pole on. Hole went in the hole. All right, here we go. This side seems to have quite a bit more water in it. Perfect. There we go. Look at that. I greased it so well, it's like pretty much trimming by itself. <laughs> Look. Yeah. Awesome. The motor is rotationally by itself. So let it go too fast. <coughs> Boy, that axle grease worked great. <laughs> Woo! Got some more. Alright, some trapped in the uppers. We got a little bit of motor oil in there too. Um, give us just a brief second here guys. We're going to reposition the camera. So we can show you this loose ass timing chain before we pull it off. Okay guys. So... Here's our timing chain. Now that the motor's upside down. Should have told, showed it to you guys before. But look at this. If you guys can see that, look at the slop in that chain. That chain is flat, wore out. Wouldn't be surprised if it might have skipped a gear. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But that is one worn out timing chain and then we got our oil pump right above it it don't look too freaking pretty and happy either but as you guys know we got a brand new one of those already so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this oil pan off as you guys know this one will not be being used because it is from a truck and we have to run a special one designed for G bodies. So that pan we already showed you guys. This one is in perfect condition actually. I could, we could probably clean this up, take it and sell it at a swap meet or something. Somebody might be able to use it. They do have quite a bit of oil capacity I've noticed. So we're going to get this off of here and I'm going to stop talking so we can uh, speed this process up a little bit.
tube. So now we can take our pickup tube off our pump and lay it aside because we will not be needing it again. All right, we'll see what we got here. Okay, so we have our six bolt main. You got four up here, and then one that goes in each side through the block. So got plenty of swing room for the freaking arms. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Well, number one is already right where we need it to be, so we can go ahead and pull it out. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Water. Water? Oh. Okay. It's trying to come up. There we go. Okay, so there is our first rod cap off. And you know what? From what I'm seeing on that first one, guys, that's a clean bearing and a clean journal. So that's only the first one so far, though. But so far, it looks like we might have got lucky. Now, don't mix these up. Lay it off to the side. The cool thing is, we're not gonna need our rubber hoses because those come all the way out. So, Liam just needs to reach down and catch because I'm sliding it out by hand already. Come on. Why is she not going? Having some minor difficulties. <laughs> oh, she needs to be rotated. Down in the thing. I'll just get my long eight of those pliers. Like so. And rotate her just like that. And boom, right out the bottom. First piston out. Let's have a look at her bearing real quick. I will wipe it off have a look see looks good to me looks damn good to me some slight grooving but okay and even though the motor's upside the down seem to not be positions we are now going to move over to the parts cleaner and we're going to try to clean these up for you guys so uh yeah here we go Okay guys, this is our new Redson, Red Sun, Red Sin parts cleaner. It has a spring loaded top on it and a scrub brush and all the good things. Right now I've got one of the cylinder heads soaking in here. I've got our timing cover off the front of the motor soaking and our valley tray is also soaking. 
but right now we're going to use it to try to clean up this piston as much as we can. I'm going to flip it on over here. These are fairly inexpensive if you guys are looking to buy yourself one. Uh, we got this one off of Amazon for, um, what was it, like 160? 100 some bucks, yeah, 150. Yeah, they're, they're not that expensive. And you can get the solvent in five gallon jugs at Napa for just a little over $80. Mm -hmm. We had to add a little bit of water to ours to get the pump to pick up because there's a pump that pumps the cleaner through the scrub brush. Yeah, it's in that little blue box off to the side there. Yeah. Now this fluid, before we started soaking parts, was actually orange. Yeah. So, it tells you right there that the soaking is actually working. I'm probably not going to be able to get this piston fully, fully clean right now. I'm going to get the majority of the stuff off that I can. Anyway, we're not going to sit here and bore you guys with all this cleaning. Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, as you guys can see, not only did we get the motor torn down, but we got it cleaned up. It was a lot of work, took us many days, uh, but can't really explain it this way. So uh, check out this overview real quick.
Okay, so as you guys saw, everything came out amazing. The crank is really good. The main caps, the rods, the pistons, all of it. There's no cracks, anything like that. All the bearings, I still left the bearings in place and even the bearings on everything still look brand new but still going to replace them anyway i've been told screw it go ahead and run them but that's just not my style you know i want this motor to you know somewhat last as long as i can get it to so you know yeah as long as it can hold the power yeah yeah and uh heads are very very clean very well inspected for cracks and there is zero no cracks whatsoever in either head they are good to go so we're good there intake is finally cleaned up it's ready for its first layer of body filler uh, throttle bodies cleaned up uh, we do have other stuff down here that I could not fit on the table I will show you guys real quick. We got our uh, valley tray that our knock sensors go in. It's cleaned up. Of course, you can't get everything. Some of this stuff is so baked on, even letting it soak for 24 hours, I couldn't get it all off. But the majority of it is off of it. Here is the rear cover. It is completely cleaned. Uh, however, again, just like the top cover, can't get it all, but majority of it is gone. And the last piece, the front cover, timing cover, is clean. Now this one I had a little bit better luck with, still couldn't get all of it, but got the majority of it. So that is literally everything clean. All we got to do now is just uh, do a really quick ball home to the cylinders. Um, clean paint. Clean paint and then start reassembly. I mean, we are like right there. Yeah. After getting all this stuff cleaned up and all that stuff, it's we are down to about ready for reassembly. So that should be happening within the next week or two I would say yeah so sorry I got the hiccups all of a sudden I'm trying to talk through it anyway uh, but yeah the push rods you guys saw what they looked like before now look at them I mean yeah. they're, they're brand new I mean everything looks brand new we're close to it so yes you're like why are the spark plugs still in the heads I left the spark plugs in the heads because I don't want anything risking messing up the threads in the aluminum for the spark plug sockets. So I've just been leaving the junk plugs in it for now yeah. and I'll worry about cleaning them up or whatever if I need to when I go to change the plugs later on. But yeah, everything is amazing. Yeah, it looks good. So uh, yeah. Anything coming up with Project Void? Uh, nothing I can uh, speak of right now. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, that's going to do it for this week's episode. Again, we are still not doing live streams on Fridays, but we are working on filling the time slot. So just bear with us on that. Anyway, we will see you guys again next Wednesday for another Working Wednesday video. We will be working on getting the block cleaned up and ready for reassembly. We will see you guys then. Make sure to like the videos, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet, and please tap that bell icon over in the corner. And also, if you haven't done so yet, check out all of our other social media sites like our Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitch, um, Instagram. Instagram, we have them all. So check them all out. I'm Big D. And I'm Liam. And we're out.